Alexa. I'm 27 years old and at the moment I'm doing my Servizio Civile Internazionale in Bulgaria in one NGO and uh, I started to learn Esperanto. <laughs> okay, so I did my EBS in Italy in the city of Bolzano. It was uh, for 10 months, so one part of my project was working with the kids, doing workshops with them. The other part of the project was uh, I was doing in the center for the young people, mostly with immigrants, and uh, I was there for them to help them to adapt in the system and in the city and in the new country. And now in Bulgaria, uh, the project is called Building the Future, and we are promoting the opportunities for the young people. Can you compare both projects? Yeah, I can compare. I mean, uh, in general, the aim is the same, you know, but maybe I can compare that uh, on EVS there is a bigger number of the people who are doing it, because this project that I'm doing now is not really popular outside, outside of Italy. And uh, I also miss on this project uh, on arrival training and the midterm training because it's like really an opportunity to meet all other EVSers in the country where you are doing your EVS. So... But basically work that you are doing is uh, the same? Uh, the project is not the same like that I did on my EVS and here is not the same, it's totally different. Can you say something about your responsibilities? What kind of uh, them you have there and what you have now? Mm -hmm. During my EVS, my duties, they were always uh, so flexible, so you know, there was also like the days that you don't have any specific tasks. So when I compare it to this project, it's uh, more well organized, the work of the organization. And personally, I'm enjoying more on this project than on my EVS project. But maybe it's also because of my experience, so now I know better what I want to do, what I don't want to do. And you think that it's a matter of uh, project and uh, or maybe a matter of organization? Uh, I would say like uh, it's a matter of the three parts, like of the volunteer, of the organization and uh, of the project. So at the end, maybe it's just like your state of mind, how are you going to approach your project and your organization. Why people want to work for free? Hmm. I think it's a really good opportunity to find your dream job, to find your passion and to improve your skills and also to gain new skills, just to try the things that you never did in your life. And you think that you achieved that goal? Yes, I think so. I learned that uh, people with totally different characters can uh, become really uh, close, close friend for uh, not, not so long time because I had the experience in my EVS. Uh, my flatmate, she was from Ar Armenia, so we were like totally opposite persons. But at the end, like, we just be be became the best, best friend, I don't know, and even nowadays. Go out from your comfort zone because it's the place where all the fun is happening and don't forget, dream big. It was like 60 people, 60 uh, young people. <laughs> 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 <laughs>